Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today we're going to be talking about auditory and tactile hallucinations. I have spoke about hallucinations as a whole quite a lot on this channel recently but this was requested and I feel the need to make this video. But before I make it, if you didn't know I have a Patreon where I'm going to be posting Patreon only content once a week and it's then videos are never going to be shown on this channel, you can only see them if you're a Patreon. It starts at $3, everything helps support me. Let's start with auditory hallucinations. Now before I started taking medication when I was 13. I was experiencing hearing voices and they would say things like you need to hurt yourself or your mum's gonna die, you need to you need to commit suicide or your sister's gonna get hurt. The last time I heard voices as a whole was when I lived with Becca and I heard a voice saying if you don't kill yourself your sister's gonna die and that was enough to push me over the edge and I tried to kill myself. I genuinely believed that sacrificing myself would save my sister from this threat. Now, I do hear things now that are auditory hallucinations, but that's the only auditory hallucination I actually have now is hearing people call my name, which is annoying, but it's not dangerous. Personally, I find auditory hallucinations uh, some of the hardest hallucinations to deal with because you, trying to tell the difference between reality and what's not reality and if it's something that could actually happen like for me hearing my name being called by people who live and work here it's so bad when I'm at my mum's I keep hearing my mum's voice saying Lydia come here but it's not my mum it's in my head that's how real hallucinations are. You don't know if they're real or not. Like, when I go to my mum's on the 25th, I know that I'm going to have hallucinations of my mum calling my name, so I can kind of ignore it. Because usually if my mum wants me, she texts me. Which helps. So, there is that. All the true hallucinations are different for every person. Alana did experience them when she was when she was unwell. I know a lot of people on YouTube uh, who also hear voices found that it stopped off the medication. I'm on haloperidol for an antipsychotic, and I take ten milligrams, and I have five milligrams PRN. I do have the option to take more haloperidol if I need to. Generally I use the haloperidol for irritation and when right, I need to calm down because it does really chill me out and my hallucinations have been 100% better since coming since, com since, since the dose got increased to 10 milligrams. When I say I have auditory hallucinations I literally mean I hear people call my name. I don't hear voices anymore. Well, I do hear voices, but I don't hear them telling me to kill myself anymore. Which, thank the Lord that I got put on 10 milligrams of haloperidol. I remember earlier this year my psychiatrist tried to lower my dose to 5 milligrams, and my hallucinations went crazy. I had delusions, I had psychotic, I had a lot of psychotic symptoms. So it wasn't easy to deal with because my hallucinations are very, very real and yes I still have hallucinations on haloperidol and yes there is other medication I could go on to stop the hallucinations but if I'm being honest I don't want to try new medication at this point because of how stable I've been for so long. I think that I will be okay as I am. I'm capable of living life the way I am. That's auditory hallucinations. Let's move on to tactile hallucinations. So tactile hallucinations are when you feel things like tapping on your arm, crawling on your arm, and if you're me, you feel bugs crawling over you at night. 
kind of why I'm filming a video at night and not lying in bed because I started feeling bugs crawling over me and didn't like it so I decided to sit and film a video then I'm going to edit a video and then I'm going to go to sleep tactile hallucinations are <laughs> not fun when I have tactile hallucinations it causes me so much anxiety and panic that I have to take lorazepam there's a PRN I'm prescribed PRN, haloperidol, PRN, lorazepam and I don't like taking the PRN medication but I have to eventually I do fall asleep when I feel the bugs crawling over me and it does go away it doesn't wake me up in the night I remember once I was asleep at my mum's and I felt people pinning, pinning me down on the bed which I don't know if that's because of my PTSD or if it's a psychotic symptom it could be either which kind of sucks but I literally felt the pressure of someone pinning me down like when I was in hospital and they restrained me it felt horrible and it triggered my PTSD off like I said I don't know if that comes under PTSD or psych psychosis but that's always a fun thing the tactile hallucinations I feel are just bugs crawling over me and it's always after I take my medication personally I think the worst hallucination I have is the tactile ones just because of how real they feel someone's setting off fireworks but yeah that's all I've got for this video if you want me to make more videos on psychosis let me know in the comments down below if you've got any video requests let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions you want answering comments down below and like I said at the beginning of the video I do have a patreon where I'm going to be posting one video a week with behind the scenes footage of me working as a YouTuber and living my life that I'm not going to share on YouTube. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out the links in the description. Peace.